Hello and welcome to Spur Economics. In this video, we will discuss the meaning and concept of heteroscedasticity, its common causes, and consequences it brings to statistical analysis. Homoscedasticity refers to a situation where the variance of the error terms or residuals in a model is constant across all levels of the independent variables. In other words, the spread or dispersion of the residuals remains the same regardless of the values of the independent variables. Homoscedasticity is important in ordinary least squares because it is one of the key assumptions underlying the validity of OLS estimates. The assumption of homoscedasticity ensures that the errors in the regression model have constant variance, which allows for reliable and efficient estimation of the model parameters. When homoscedasticity holds, the OLS estimates are unbiased and have minimum variance among all unbiased estimators, that is, they are efficient. Therefore, the OLS estimates have desirable statistical properties such as consistency and asymptotic normality. Homoscedasticity is crucial in OLS because it leads to reliable parameter estimates and valid statistical inferences. On the other hand, violations of homoscedasticity can lead to inefficient parameter estimates, inflated standard errors, and incorrect statistical inference. The opposite of homoscedasticity is the problem of heteroscedasticity. It is a situation where the variance of residuals is non-constant. It violates the key assumption of ordinary least squares, which states that the residuals are homoscedastic or have constant variance. In heteroscedasticity, the residuals or error terms are dependent on one or more of the independent variables in the model. Therefore, their values are correlated with the values of those independent variables. For instance, if an increase in the value of the independent variable leads to an increase in the value of residuals, it will lead to increased variance of residuals with an increase in the independent variable. In general, any kind of relationship between residuals and independent variables can lead to heteroscedasticity. Let's take a look at the plot shown here. We have the independent variable x on x-axis and the residuals on the y-axis. As an example, we are considering only one independent variable x in our model. So, we can plot the residuals along with x directly. Generally, we use fitted values on the x-axis, which we can obtain after estimating a model. We usually have more than one independent variables in practical situations, hence, fitted values are commonly used to visually inspect for heteroscedasticity. In the plot shown here, as the value of x increases initially, we can observe a fall in the value of residuals. As x keeps increasing, the values of residuals start increasing in the end. There is a clear relationship between the residuals and x as we can see a U-shaped pattern emerge in the plot. If the residuals are homoscedastic, the residuals are random and we can't see any type of pattern between the values of residuals and independent variables or fitted values. Outliers are specific data points within a dataset that significantly deviate from the overall pattern or trend of the data. These observations are unusually high or low compared to the rest of the data and can have a disproportionate influence on the results and residuals. When outliers are present, the spread or dispersion of residuals may vary across different levels of the independent variables. This phenomenon can be particularly pronounced if outliers exhibit a pattern where their residuals systematically increase or decrease with the values of the independent variables. Outliers can violate the homoscedasticity assumption by introducing large fluctuations in the residual variance. In extreme cases, outliers may dominate the variance structure of the residuals, leading to non-constant variance and heteroscedasticity. Misspecification or incorrect specification can lead to heterosedastic residuals. For example, if an important variable is excluded from the model, its effects get captured in the residuals or error terms. The omitted variable may be correlated with other independent variables in the model. In such a case, the residuals might exhibit non-constant variance and heteroscedasticity because they end up accounting for the omitted variable, which is also correlated with other independent variables in the model. 
misspecification of the model's functional form can also cause heteroscedasticity. Suppose the actual relationship between the variables is nonlinear in nature. If we estimate a linear model for such variables, we might observe its effects in the residuals in the form of heteroscedasticity. We see this in the linear probability model or LPM which is the application of OLS with a binary dependent variable. LPM models are heteroscedastic and they should be estimated with the help of nonlinear functions used in logit and probit models. Errors in human behavior become smaller over time with more practice or learning of an activity. In such a case, errors or residuals will tend to decrease. For example, with the skill development of labor, their error will decrease leading to lower defective products in the manufacturing process or a rise in their productivity. Hence, error variance will decrease in such a setup and may lead to heterosidastic residuals. In some cases, the residuals may be heterosidastic due to the nature of variables involved. For instance, an increase in income may be accompanied by an increase in choices to spend that extra income. This leads to discretionary expenditure. In such a case, error variance will increase with an increase in income. A model with consumption as a dependent variable and income as an independent variable can have an increasing error variance in such a case. Hence, the nature of variables and their relationships can play a role in this phenomenon of heterosedasticity. Standard errors, confidence intervals, p-values and other tests of significance are no longer reliable in the presence of heterosedasticity. This is because OLS standard errors assume constant variance of residuals. The tests of significance are based on these standard errors. In heterosedasticity, error variance is non-constant, therefore, OLS standard errors are not applicable. As a result, it is not advisable to rely on the usual confidence intervals and p-values from a heterosedastic model. OLS estimates no longer have minimum variance property because the variance of residuals is not constant. The coefficients end up having larger standard errors and lower precision in the presence of heterosedasticity. Hence, OLS estimators become inefficient in the presence of heterosedasticity. The unbiasedness property of OLS estimates does not require a constant variance of residuals. However, the predictions from a heterosedastic model can still end up being biased, especially in the case of observations with large residuals. The forecasted or predicted values of the dependent variable based on a heterosedastic model will have high variance. This is because the OLS estimates are no longer efficient. The variance of residuals is not minimum in presence of heterosedasticity due to which the variance of predictions is also high. There are many tests that can be used to detect heterosedasticity and several methods to solve the problem of heterosedasticity are available to us. You can find the links to these tests and solutions in the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on economics and econometrics.